Hi, welcome to Nine Miles Review of the Express Gourmet. It's the kitchen miracle that chops, slices, shreds, and more. This is an as seen on TV product. It's a little bit older, but it's something that I've always wanted to test. So today, I'll be using the attachment that chops up uh, vegetables, and I'm going to be making salsa. So this product comes with all the attachments you see here. You got this, this thing, got a little thing that you know, you can beat your eggs with it. You got this, this, this cheese grater, these things, and this, plus the instruction booklet. So I'm not going to be using all that today. I'm just going to be using the blade that will chop the vegetables for the salsa. So let's get started and make the salsa. All right, to make the salsa, you need four cups chopped vine ripened tomatoes. So I'm just going to cut these in half here so they're a little bit easier to cut in the uh, Express Gourmet or Gourmet Express, whatever you want to call it. So let's just start with that and put it in the machine here. Okay, the lid's on tight. I'm going to start turning. See if I can chop these up. So as you can see, it's chopping them up like it, like the claims say. All right, let's open that up. So just a little bit more. All right, so just a little bit more, you know, it took maybe at most a minute, and look at that, perfectly, perfectly cut. So that's great, it's a great product so far. So I'm gonna put that in a bowl and then start with the next ingredients. Next in my fresh tomato and black bean salsa, I need two cups black beans. So I'm gonna put that in the bowl and then put in my next ingredients. Okay, so I have my uh, four cups chopped vine ripened tomatoes and two cups black beans. And now I'm gonna add one cup small diced red onion, one large fresh jalapeno. I'm actually gonna add two to make it a little bit hotter. One half cup loosely packed chopped fresh cilantro and one tablespoon chopped fresh parsley leaves. Okay, so we got the jalapenos in there and now we're gonna put the uh, cilantro and parsley mixture in there and then the red onion is going to cut this up now it's all ready to go so I'm going to put the lid on and one of the things that I found is this lid is a little bit difficult to take off I don't know if it's just this one but uh, it was hard to take off when I put the tomatoes in so here we go it takes a little bit of force but once you get it going Actually does a great job. The blade just slices through anything you put in here. I'm pretty impressed actually. Give it a few, few more cranks. Let's open it up. And look at that. Perfectly, perfectly cut. That's pretty incredible actually. Let me zoom in on that. Look at that. Just put the spoon through it. Look at how evenly that's cut. It's a pretty Pretty amazing actually. So next I'm going to put this into the bowl and then get started on my next ingredients. And this smells amazing. To finish off this recipe all you need is uh, one tablespoon chopped garlic, salt, fresh ground black pepper, six tablespoons fresh lime juice, uh, one tablespoon extra virgin olive oil, and of course your corn tortilla chips to taste. I really don't know if this is something I can do, but I put the garlic into the uh, Express Gourmet, and I'm just going to see if I can chop it up in here. And from the looks of it, it's working. So look at that. Chopped up the garlic as well. Alright, so I'm going to add the garlic 
from this bowl. the lime juice to finish this off I'm gonna put one tablespoon of olive oil in here a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of salt and there we go so I'm gonna stir that up and then I'll get to taste it but so far this product has been working great it's actually I would say one of the better, if not the best, uh, chopping devices that I've tested. You know, even better than the slap chop, I'd say. So the bean dip's done and it's now ready to taste. This is what it looks like. It's all done and ready to go. All right, so now for the taste test. So I got my chip right here. I'm gonna dip it in the bean dip. Got a big bite right here. It's really good. If I had to change a couple things, I think I'd add, add less beans and a little bit less cilantro. But other than that, it's a good recipe. And I definitely recommend the uh, Express Gourmet. It's probably one of the best choppers that I've used other than the Slap Chop. So definitely recommend this product. And thanks for watching my video. 